Like, how you gonna do that? Yeah, that is true. I don't have the same kind of following on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Alright. So I'm just gonna let it rock. And then when people come in, I'm gonna say something. Uh, I put the, um, you know, the topic of plantation preparation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm. It's sensitive? Mm -hmm. I want it to be out, you know, signed. Oh, it'll be outside. It'll move around. Oh, move I can title this, Are You Full Reparations? Because I'm making this vegan foe. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Full reparations? Why? Full planting? Full reparations. So people hollering at me? No. You want to them yet? No. You need to go mm -hmm. on your thing. Really, babe? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right on the line. Right on the line. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? Look at little mama peeking around the corner. Look up. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey y'all. Making um faux today. Vegan faux by the way so we got some mushroom of course some seaweed y'all these are so addictive i'm almost done eating them actually you know put one top almost done but we're making we're cooking for reparations and just want to have a conversation today about the plantation reparations initiative answer some questions because a lot of y'all have them so it's a good opportunity just to kind of plug in and see what we eat what y'all eating y'all need to come in oh 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 what some live and in color mm. 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 hey sorry it took so mm. long Mm -hmm. Just throwing Jeff around today, huh? Oh, it's Naima. Naima's here? Yeah. Hey, Naima. Peace, How peace. is VA? Peace, peace. How is VA? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we about ready to. All right, so we're making pho today, y'all. And if y'all do not know what pho is, it is a um, it's like an Asian. Hey, peace to you as well, sis. It's an Asian noodle dish. I just love it because I'm really into like broths and um, slurpy good stuff. I got some eggs because y'all know I, <laughs> I got a little Nigerian energy in me today. So, oh, come out, peace. Where is uh, the lime the, for the lime juice? Yeah, you have fresh lime, you have lime juice. All right, so that's going to be on the top. So we about ready. I'm about to do the noodles and then we're going to... Um, Everything. Yeah. Yeah, we're about ready. But Naima, how was VA? How was the weather? What is going on? I'm gonna put your statement there. Mm. 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 M
Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, you only have one? Mm -hmm. You only have one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think they can hear what you're saying. I know, that's why I said. Oh, well. she said the weather is crazy. I said it was warm, but today's chilly. Opposite for us. Right, peace. Thank you. Yesterday, I think it was a little cooler. Today it was warm. Yeah. I think I think it's opposite. It was so uh we had the, uh, the house inspector. I don't think we uh been on YouTube. We ain't did YouTube since then, right? No, we haven't done YouTube even before the house inspector. It's been about really? a month. Yeah. Been a month? It's been about a month. Oh yeah. man. It was before you left, babe. You That's right. the last time we did it. My apologies for neglecting the YouTube world. Yeah. But we've been like extremely busy. But uh, I promise we will do better. We will definitely do better. Anyway, like I was saying, we all uh, we had the house inspected and inspected well. And um full speed ahead. Babe, they I don't even know what house you're talking about. Remember? Oh, the plantation. Yeah. Uh, you right. ain't been over this before? No, I mean, you have to tell every time. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Like, All right. You have to talk like you come um, to a new audience every time. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It's just nightmare. Yeah. But, um. But remember, people might watch the play black. The play black. So. Did the play black? The play black. The play black. Yes. Yeah. So, um. People are plantations for reparations. Yeah, it's official P4R LLC. Oh, yeah, official P4R LLC. Um, yeah, so this is the first plantation for P4R. First of many. We're about to line these things up like goddamn dominoes and watch them fall. So, all right, watch them rise. Oh, watch them rise. Hello. Sometimes you gotta destroy it to build. But, you need to get on this train, get on the ground floor. Come rock with us. Come visit that site, p4r.today. Bruh. What you doing? I'm making oh, the moves. Yeah. You don't even know what you're telling me All that going in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, babe, it's like served like a soup. That's all going on. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I ain't missing more chips. You know what? I don't even know why I'm playing with it. I don't know why I'm playing with it. We got the Postito from Mom. And uh, I'm gonna got, got some French dip, that's all. You know. My wife don't like the dip. I don't, and you knew I didn't like it. You know what the first thing you said was, I thought you didn't like it. So why is here? Well, that's because hey, you, you, you told me that there was gonna be, uh, what's the name? Wow. Edgar River. No, I didn't tell you that. I didn't tell you that. I'm gonna But again, if I don't like it, why is it here? That don't, it don't have nothing to do about what somebody else got. I don't like the white hair. Okay, I don't like the monkey brain, but you get it. I, you don't like the monkey brain, mm -hmm. but I don't. I wouldn't get that to like eat at some place that we're going to. I get that when I'm taking it just home. I'm never taking the monkey brain just like the, the acne. <laughs> I'm never taking the acne. Like, oh, okay, we about to go to this place, and you might be the only person that. We, you know. I can't be the only one that like onion dip. But it's not about you being the only person it's that you know I don't like it. But, okay, I misunderstood. But, you said that, well, you got what's it? No, um, but even if he did. Salsa. Even if he did. You know, I don't really like salsa. You don't, but even, that's yeah. another reason. Like, even if you did not think that, mm -hmm. why would you have us bring something that I don't like. Like I'm saying, it's different. Like if we're going to some place, I want. I would love some regular, like what I like to 
the hummus? The hummus is too far. I'm not saying hummus. I just said I would want something that I like. And I said for you to know that I don't like it. Oh. And to purchase it, knowing that I don't like it, is that's hot to me. Yes. But you oh. said, but you said, you said, the first thing you said was I thought you didn't like it. So you knew I didn't like it. I'm still under the that. it don't matter. Even if he had what I liked, why would you have us bring something that I didn't? I'm still, I'm still tripping on that. Like, I wouldn't, like, going to the other day, I wouldn't be like, oh, let's go and pick up something and let it be, it, it be, you know, acky. Or kimchi. I don't know. That's or right in with that. It might have, but I wouldn't have done that. Cause I'm saying, at the very least, I'm gonna bring something right. that I know you would like. Like at the very least, I'm gonna do that. No, I want you to understand where I'm coming from with it. I just want you to just be like, yeah, but you know what I mean. I don't want that. I want you to understand where I'm coming from with it, so that way it don't happen like again. I got it. I do. Why? Why? Why get them on your face? Okay. Cause I just, I just think like that's said, Like that just seems that's very odd. I mean, that you, that's the first thing you said was. I thought you didn't like it. Yeah, I know. Let me on you. Do my phone. What did I do? The moment. Trying some vegan food. Um, start with just vegetifying. Look at you from way over there. too but first things first is um don't overthink vegan don't overthink it like honestly uh everything that you like with rice or with pasta just do it with a, a vegetable base now you can start with potatoes some people say if you have arthritis and things like that potatoes actually make it worse so you should start with your green. The darker the vegetables, the better the vegetable. That's why, of course, Colored Only Cafe is uh, we prioritize plant-based, um, plant-based the dishes because of that same fact. It's going to be your most mineral filled, your most nutrients filled. So you want to start with your darker veggies like your um, your spinach, your kale, um, your cabbage, your your melanated stuff. Okra, I love. Um, you know, kind of try to not do so much corn or potatoes because the more starch is still a simple sugar. So, you know, it's like, what's the benefits of being How vegan? How do you get the time? I don't know. Um, it, de it, it depends. Uh, like when it's fried, it's usually not slimy. But 
I don't know. It depends. I, I don't really. I like. I don't mind the slime, so I never really think about it. Yeah, I don't really think about it. See, babe, we not. You don't. You don't. Don't do that, please. What? Okay, but babe, this is. You know, somebody trying to go into. This is why I actually get slime. I know, but we're saying that something is nasty is like not. You know. Okay, it's not my favorite. Yeah, that's fine, but we're asking, like, she may like okra, but not, you know what I mean? Like, what I like to do, I don't talk, I, I personally, I don't like to talk bad about what people's food choices are, because everybody has a different balance. Why do you hold mine to I just don't. I just, the texture's never bothered it me. It don't feel weird and just... Not to me. Not to me. So I've never focused on stuff to take that texture out. When I, I know what people are mean and when it's like they don't prefer okra, but it's just, you know, I don't be like, well. Did I taste that fried okra we had when we was up in uh, Athens? Yeah, you did. Did I like it? You didn't have anything. It wasn't seasoned well, but you didn't have anything. Like, you didn't, we weren't like, oh, it's slimy or anything like that. I don't even remember how I tasted it. It wasn't tasting like anything too extra. So yeah, you want to stick with vegetables that you like, and you want to add the same sauces that you may have um, with uh, your rice or your noodles. Put them over the vegetables. You know, um, don't don't overthink it. Don't make it like. And also too, just don't don't start saying, okay, well I like meatloaf, so I'm gonna get like veggie meat, and I'm gonna make meatloaf. Actually, try to get I vegetables. That that that, that, uh, that turkey thing. You mean the sandwich with? That's not turkey. Oh, you mean the yeah. vegan turkey? Yeah. Yeah. That was that was odd. I, I, I like that. I understand, but I don't. I don't. I tell people not to start that way because you want to start with actual vegetables. Yeah, but that's plant based, right? It's plant based, but it's not an actual vegetable. You know what I'm saying? When I say get into eating more, I'm talking about whole vegetables. Like raw. Whole. It doesn't mean have to be raw. You could cook them, like the carrots, the potatoes, all of that is. Veg like it's vegetables. It's n not a patty. It's nothing that I added to it. It's just seasoning. So um, don't get hooked on the alternative meats and that sort of thing. I'm not saying that every now and again that's not cool. Cause like you know he just said you know I just we just got some uh, vegan turkey slices and they're fine. They're good. But nah, having those every day, it's because you really want turkey. That's not cool. Like get used to. Like I said, get used to eating things that you can grow. You can't grow pizza, you know. You can't grow um, vegan uh, chicken wings. You can't grow vegan crab cakes, which like I said, don't get me wrong, all of this is out there and it's great and it's good, but get used to making things that you can actually enjoy and cook. Thank you. That you can actually, that you can actually use and enjoy. We're, the, we're about ready to plate the the vegan foe. <laughs> I like my the comment. Are you faux reparations? Naima, we've never had a conversation about reparations and your thoughts on being faux reparations or not. Would love to get your um, input. That's something different. No, it's not. Is the order different? Probably. Okay. It's a different smell.
So, now this is not technically vegan because I am adding some eggs, but you don't have to to yours. Both you see them have eggs. But Nigerians, Nigerians put eggs in like all of their dishes, so I've kind of gotten used to. They had no eggs, that stuff like the all. Uh, they like weren't the Nigerian, babe. They were Ethiopian. Uh, makes sense now. Wait, are Ethiopians vegans or just them? Uh, most African people do have like vegan, it's like a very heavy vegetable based diet. Because so remember, they go off of what you can grow. So. Mm -hmm. I remember. Well, that's probably my sneaker. I gotta go see my sneaker. I'll be back. Every now and again, you know, if you want to. Can you explain what that is? Um, pho? Oh, pho is um, a traditional, it's an Asian dish. It's a noodle dish with like a nice kind of springy, bright broth. Um, the broth that I, the ingredients that I may, may use for my broth are, because it's vegan, usually they use, um, they use uh, some meat and some bone stock. But I use ginger, garlic, onion, potato, mushroom, carrot, and um, a little bit, a little bit of parsley, soy sauce, of course, um, garlic, um, pepper salt, and you know, like uh, basically stir fry the veggies in there and then added water to make the broth. Now I've drained it. Now I'm at the, we're at the end of the process now where the noodles are about done. I just dropped the eggs. Should be delicious. That was a good joke. That was a good one. I'm gonna let you tell it. I did tell it. No, I'm saying I'm letting you tell it that it's a good joke. Oh, okay. You just wanna yeah, squeeze past me. I really didn't. Yeah, yeah, let me get up in that cabinet. That's not true. I'm looking for bowls. No, you wasn't. I am. She wasn't looking for no bowls. I am. She just wanna squeeze past me. Lies. She was being fresh. I don't have to. When I'm trying to be fresh, I don't mind just being fresh. <laughs> me to do in the kitchen. I don't know what to do. You know what vegetable dishes are a great way to try um, from other countries because let me tell you Indians same thing they have a they have a very plant-based or plant prioritized um, a lot of plant prioritized menu options uh, African of course Africa um, in a whole but definitely some continents uh, I'm sorry some continent countries that you want to look into with um, at traditional African dishes uh, you definitely like I said Nigeria 
Um, besides the egg and everything, they do have a lot of, um, and a lot of their dishes can be made really easy with just vegetable options. Like um, banku is great. Sometimes banku does have, of course, you can have it always with chicken, but banku itself is just a heavy okra and spinach um, soup, kind of, not even a soup. And of course, fufu, which is a favorite for a lot of people. I don't make fufu. I'm not very big on like starches and breads, but a lot of people That's do like dip stuff, right? Yeah. And um, of course, Ethiopian, they have a lot of, a lot of just, dealing with um greens and with peppers um they have pepper stew um peanut stew you can do it doesn't have to be with chicken it could be with um, a number of things a goosey um you want to get out some bowls um a goosey stew uh like i said a lot of things they have like you know little adjustments you only have to make but it's it's the, the flavor, a lot of the flavor content is still there because of the um, spices that you use. So even though you may not have the sardines, I believe it's anchovies. Anchovies, herring, it's different little fish that they use to get that that um, special crawfish, I know as well, that they use to give that special kind of um, rich flavoring, which is very much like gumbo. Uh, you can do it without that and still have a very uh, authentic and a very well seasoned dish. So we are. I'm just waiting for the eggs to get done, y'all. Cause nobody wants no raw raw eggs. Uh, <laughs> but this has been fun. Yes, yes, and and also I love these type of dishes because it's quick. As you can see here, we've only been on 30 minutes. That's about how long everything takes to get ready. I'm about to plate. We're about to enjoy this with some yummy, yummy orange juice. Y'all, only reason I'm not doing Grovade is because Grovade is this weekend for the all black brunch. So yes, if you're in or near the Atlanta area, we still have some spaces available, about uh, 10. 10 spaces available for the all black brunch for plantations for operations. So uh, hit me up. Let's, let's get here. There's another, uh, what's the name here? Uh, I don't know. Some gap. You might want to take a look, though. I guess I said, who is it? I don't know. You can't see the name? Yeah, I can see the name, but I can't even pronounce it, though. <laughs> I'm gonna put spice on everything now. She, I'm so mad she, about that French. I'm I'm upset. I'm upset. Cause I look. Oh, you like? You don't like spice. Nah. How? Cause wouldn't that feel? That would be equivalent. That would be equivalent. That would be equivalent. I'm gonna spice this thing all up. You don't like spice, babe. How is that equivalent? How is it not? How is it not? Because we talking about like a snack. You talking about a whole meal. No, nah, but it's still something that you were supposed to enjoy. Because salsa was salsa, salsa was salsa. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be present. It does, but I, so, uh, what? Well, speak with that logic. I would say, well, you got French dip here. French dip is here, so that's why I spice this up. Because you have still something that you can eat, right? That's what that logic says. No, it doesn't. But how does it not? How does it not? From a snack? Because you have, you, you assume since there That's was something else. No, I didn't. I said he usually has something kind of salsa or cheesy. So I was saying get some, I was saying that you, thinking that you would get something consistent to what he likes to eat. Um. I was not thinking you would get something to only eat something that you know you wanted well, to eat. Well. No, but you knew the and I'm like I would I just I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have. And I, and I like spicy. I, 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 
it's, it's, it's popular, right? No, but they, it, it, and, and some stuff I like is popular. Shrimp is popular. Crab meat dip is popular. But my man doesn't eat that. So I'm not going to get that and be like, well, it was going to be some other stuff there and you don't like that. I wouldn't have done that. I don't care what other people had there. I'm not going to bring something to the crowd party that my man cannot, that my man don't eat. I, and see, these are the moments where I'm just like, I don't think I would have to say this. But then it's like, you know, yeah, I got it, but really, do you? Cause I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that. That you got the onion dip, but that you got something that you knew I didn't like. And you knew I didn't like, but that's the first thing you said. You don't like onion. You don't like this dip. No, you don't like the brand. No, you said you don't like this dip. No, well, because I, I see, see, mm, mm, mm. You did. Because I remember the conversation we had way back when about that, about the brand. But what's the brand? The, because the ingredients. You said it's like more than yeah, that is dust. The that's mouth. all of those that come in the thing and come in the jar. That's all of them that come in the jar. No, nah, that's not the, the only the brand. Ain't like that. What? The, the salsa in that brand is not like that. And the um. I don't know. Oh no, the other is like that. Yeah, the cheese dip, they're all like that. Mm -hmm. I and I think the cheese dip that you usually got is uh, it's not. It may not be that. No, because it's got a, oh, um, you should read it, though. And you should read it. Thank you, babe. Now, you won't be getting any of this because you don't like it. Really? What's that, goat cheese? No, it's tofu, babe. Oh, yeah, I'm good on that. I know you're good on that. Yeah, you going to fry it? No. You just going to eat it like that? No, it's going to be softly blanched. So, wait, what? Blanche, it goes down on top of the noodles, babe, so it's still on the heat. Does it melt like cheese? No. No, no milk. Um. All right. So, so, uh, how do y'all feel about tofu? Cause um, I don't know. I was uh giving some tofu. And it, it had a funny texture to me, so I'm, I'm trying to figure out like if anybody else like, has the same. Uh, yeah. I mean, I didn't mind the taste, but it was the texture. It was like um. You're talking about wet bread. Yeah, yeah, like wet bread. And you know, I don't know. Like somebody tell me what you know what y'all think about tofu. I 
I said wet bread though. Yeah, you said wet bread. Oh. I thought it was an accurate description. Oh, okay. That broth is good too. Y'all, yeah, this came out so good. I'm telling y'all. And it was a quick, it was very easy recipe. They gave you. I need something to wrap these noodles with. This came out really good and it was a very easy recipe. So I can't wait to um I can't wait to show you guys how everything came out. This really good. I think he does have some grabbers. What? Grabbers, I'm going for my tongue, you know the, the grabbers. Yeah. I thought he had a small container. And I was pretty sure I was here sure. over here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just scoop the noodles up, man. Like, this would be good. One of those pasta ones, you know what I'm talking about? The ones that have the grippers on them. Yeah. That would be okay. Y'all, we're cooking at my brother, Palmetto, at the temple tonight. So, we're about to have a nice dinner under moonlight, y'all. We're doing this thing. This, this, this thing is sexy, sexy. We are doing this thing all the way. No delay. So, I want to show y'all what it looks like when everything gets plated. But my ear is in storage. Full moon, so it might be some howling later on at night. <laughs> That's for sure. And it probably won't be me. Really? Really? You know how yeah, you really. sound like some type of dirty old man over there talking oh, like that. I sound like a dirty old man. Yeah, probably won't be howling <laughs> later on. Okay. That's gonna be me. All right, I might have been lying a little bit. Thank you. I Thank might be howling. Not like, by myself. You, you, you still sound like a dirty old man. It's even worse. <laughs> I don't like cooking with you. Why? Because like, you nothing for me to do. How, so what? If you want to cook a dish together, that's a different thing, baby. That's not what you said. That's not. I didn't know that was the um the intention. Cooking the dish together. So, so I'm just like keeping you company in the kitchen. No, I thought that you would just be like not keeping me company. I thought that you would be attending to the live and like asking me about oh. what I'm doing. I never thought we were gonna be cooking. Oh, okay. So what you doing now? I'm cutting up the limes because you just sprinkle limes add a freshness to dishes, but they must go on last. If you put them on too early, the dish kind of becomes, um, it becomes really bitter, especially with lime. With lemon, it's a little bit better controlled. But with lime, they can become really bitter. But you'll find lime in a lot of um, Vietnamese, Thai dishes. So um, it pairs well with uh, like mint or um, ginger. Anything that you have those ingredients with, a nice spritz of lime is going to pair well with. Mm. And um, that broth is so good, guys. It really is. So I haven't tasted it yet. Now I want the recipe. I don't want a partial. I want the whole shebang. Wow. You know that. I do know that, and I do. Oh, I love that about oh, it. I do love that about it. No test driving for bus. He gonna put, pop. He gonna pull it off the lot. <laughs> I need something to grip these noodles with though, for real. Get a fork or two forks. Mhm. Mm and yes, you're very resourceful. I love that about you too. Are the shells thrown in? Mhm. Mm you gonna peel it and throw it in there? Mhm. Mm 
Oh, I gotta peel my own egg? Yeah. I ain't know this is gonna be like a interactive meal. Excuse me. Uh, uh, interactive meal. Interactive. <laughs> yeah. Interactive meal. You are too funny. Yeah. yeah. That's true. You know, she said, "Hey, I'm thinking they gonna be in there. We gonna mix it up and bang, bang, bang." I ain't know I had to peel my own egg. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Nah. It definitely is. Oh, I thought you were going to put the mushrooms in, in the broth. They are in there. That's what made it. And so you have some that are already cooked, but you have some that are cooked by the heat of the broth. Like there'll be a little... Uh, uh, what little bowl is that? That's for you, actually. Don't play with me. <laughs> Hey, there are not a lot of bowls in there. She took my, give me a little bowl. She can stop playing me. Give me a pot then. You got a pot. Yeah, I gotta get a pot. I can't get a pot. No, I'm not gonna get a pot. You give me that little ass bowl, we better have a pot next to it. I gotta, um, I need to take pictures. Of me? Oh, wow. Of the, yeah, of the, uh, dishes. Yeah, I don't think y'all knew, but, uh, I'm also a revolutionary model. So if y'all have some revolutionary deeds, photos, I'm the guy. Yes. yes. I'm the guy. My schedule might uh ease up after December 5th. That's our closing date. P4R. The plantation. P4 means plantations for reparations. Okay, we almost ready. So what you doing now? You about to shock the noodles, right? Or shock the eggs? Shock the... No, I'm taking the noodles and putting them into the... You're not going to shock the eggs? No. It's not going to be an easy peel then. Okay, right? so that's yeah. a... If that's something that um, you're familiar with, go ahead. See? Interactive meal. You ever use two forks? Use two forks. Mm, man, I can't even find a bowl for you. It's not in there. Uh. You want me to hold the bowl for you while you, uh... Mm. <laughs> Put cheese on this? No, absolutely not. It's like, would you put cheese on lo mein? No, why would you do that? So this is the same concept. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. This is like lo mein with a broth. Like as a soup. Can you make this with meat? Bo is usually made. That's why I have to keep saying it's a vegan version. Bo is usually made oh. with meat. Usually what kind of meat would you use if it wasn't vegan? Um, everything. Pork, seafood, chicken. Oh, okay. So you just, you just throw that thing in there. Yeah, it's like, just um, throw what it in call there. It? Kitchen sink. It's like a kitchen sink now. Throw it in there, just be. Throw it in there. Throw it in. So, I had seen this post once, right? Where dudes in the kitchen with his girlfriend making chicken. She told him to wash the chicken. So he goes over to the sink to wash the chicken and grabs some dough <laughs> and puts soap on the chicken and washing the chicken. So then he turns his girlfriend and says, oh, Yo, I'll get the suds off. <laughs> He said, suds. <laughs> he said, yeah, put the soap in there. <laughs> and she was like, soap? It was funny, though. It was funny. He used soap to wash the chicken. And then looked confused when she was upset. And angry. I don't know what this is right here. That's not what it is. Oh, 
can use the tip of the dish for it instead of twirling it up in this thing. What you do, you put the broth over top. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the eggs like go on the side, or you put the the eggs like you know. Yeah, the eggs kind of just go in there. Mm. So it's almost like egg drop soup. No, egg drop soup is they use the yolk. Yolk. Mm -hmm. mm. That's why it looks like the way it looks there. They have crazy delay on these phones. And you're at 9%. Mm -hmm. Why are you charge the phone? Because that charger doesn't work, babe. I get this belly full. I'm going to move in. I'm going to be chilling. I'm going to lube over. Mm -hmm. So still. I ain't seen nothing about this, uh, this tofu. Anybody tell me how they feel about this tofu? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out if, um, because, you know, my wife likes to tell me that, uh, calls me a food snob. Uh, it says my, my palate is, uh, what you call it? Disabled. Disabled. My palate is disabled. You have a bland palate. My palate is bland. Except for when it comes to slurpees. <laughs> Except for when it comes to slurpees. You gonna now, shop eggs or what? Whatever you said you're gonna do. We just throw some water. Well, go ahead. I don't know. When you do it like that, it's an easy peel with some sugar. Just put it in there? Yeah, just put it right on top. This is yours, that's why it doesn't have any tofu. but I heard from a family friend that it had a different taste to it. Um, it actually, you can have it taste like whatever you like. This is my favorite part, just adding the little accoutrements on top. Potatoes, carrots, the um, well, here's the thing. garlic. The taste ain't bad. Like I said, the taste wasn't too bad. The texture. It's the texture. It's like, um, are you eating a sandwich, right? 
And you know what's the bread you wet. Sandwich is wrong. You know, kind of like that. When you, 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 you eating and you got like, you know, your bread on the side. Somebody come past and spill the damn water on the table and your bread get wet. You know, that bread, bread is wet. Bread is wrong. And now you can just bring it out and then eat it. But that's how, that's how it, it tasted like that, like wet bread. You know? Like the texture. In your onions because they have crunch. I thought you fixed the crunch. Mm-mm. They have crunch. So I'm just going to eat them for you. Your mom, though. That's garlic right there, right? That's garlic, yeah. Alright, I don't like garlic. What's going on right here? You like what's going on right here? What is going on right there? I don't know, John. What's going on right there? What's going on right there? That was mushroom I just ate. tab make sure you stay posted but until next time y'all know what to do keep it colored and glow up